Well, hello. Long time no see, I suppose. It's been a while since I've said hello and yeah, done something on my channel. I've been really quiet in everything lately and I thought today I'd vlog and catch you up on stuff and reconnect a little bit. Today is Monday. It is the 20... 23rd of April. I cannot believe it's almost the end of April, which is crazy. <laughs> but today I have the day off work and I'm going to do some sewing, I think. This morning I have been doing a little bit of organisation and planning for a new series I'm going to do on my YouTube channel, which I'm going to chat a little bit more about a little bit later on but I've been planning that and yeah just doing a little bit of tidy up I had a really busy weekend doing flowers for a friend's baby shower so I just sort of had to tidy up all the mess that I left from that today I'm going to try and do or f I'm, I'm at least going to start it I'm going to try and start and finish the last swoon block that I need to make for my swoon quilt which I started a couple of weeks ago and have been loving making. So this is the fabrics I'm going to use in my last swoon block. This uh, fabric here is one that we've got at work at the moment. It's by a designer called Kat Kalindi. There it is. Kat Kalindi. And I just think it's beautiful. What else I got to quickly catch you up on? Oh before I do that I need to press them and I'm going to be using my new Aliso Pro Iron. I mean I know I've already got one but uh, we got in a new version of these irons at work and they were on sale like really really cheaply on sale because these are usually really expensive irons and I got a new one because of the colour. You want to see it? That's my yellow one. I got a pink one. So I treated myself to the pink one because I've always wanted the pink one. So I'm going to give the yellow one to mum because uh, she loves ironing. And then I'm going to have this one. I'm so excited. I also bought one of these. So it's a thread rack. I have a little one just up there. But look at all my threads. I'm sort of running out of room to put them all somewhere. So I bought the big rack and I think it's going to have to go up on the top shelf. So I'm going to have to rearrange all of that so I can pop all of those onto there. Uh, so, do I do that now or later? Hmm. Big decisions to be made in the sewing room because I really want to play with my new iron. Even though I'm, I know how it works and I've used it before. But, you know, it's a new little gadget. So, I think I might, I think I might reorganize this thing first. So that that racks off the table. So I have room to play and and so oh, let's do that. So that's what we finished with. I think, I think I like it. I'm not sure. I've just put the all the threads up here, sort of in color order. I actually don't really have as many as I thought. Pop my thimbles here. Uh, buzzers up there with Donkey and Erlion. Uh, and then I've just put all my tins and stuff down here and things that I reach for the most. So uh, binding clips and ribbon and glue for when I do paper piecing and yeah everything's all in easy reach and and yeah so I think I'm happy with it I don't know yet um, we'll uh, just sort of fiddle around with it a little bit until I'm happy with it uh, and yeah I don't know what to do with this now maybe I should put that near my sewing machine I don't know uh, what else can I use that for? 
What else can I use this for? Anybody have any suggestions? Hmm. I don't know. Brilliant. It's time to unbox this booby so I can press my fabrics for my spoon block. So let's open it. I gotta stick you somewhere where you can see what I'm doing. Hmm. Where can you go? Do you want to go there? Oh yeah, that works. Awesome. Yes. Oh, in. Instructions. Always best. Water container. Come on. There we go. Hey. Here she is. Oh, she's beautiful. Lovely. Let's take this off. Ah, ooh, very nice. Let's plug her in. Oh, she's alive. Up, down. Awesome. Let's pop some water in your lobby. today don't mind the um, mess in the background there it is what it is I thought while I am cutting my pieces for my swoon block, swoon block I would I don't know chat and update you all on what's happening in life I don't know as I mentioned uh, earlier in the blog yeah I've been really quiet um, on my youtube channel and everywhere else actually I've just been busy with other things. I've been busy with work. I've been sewing spoon blocks and I've just been doing a lot of other things for other people I guess. As I mentioned I did flowers for a baby shower for a friend over the weekend and over the last week I did a baby quilt for her. I, I think I, I posted it on my Instagram stories if you saw it but if you didn't I will put a little picture of the quilt that I made on the screen now. So yeah I was doing uh, that all last week. How many of them do I have to cut? Six. And then yeah I've just been working and just being a little bit I don't know quiet into myself really. I have been making a lot of swoon blocks lately. I've just been obsessed with making them. I'm just gonna say now I've had a lot of people ask whether I'm gonna do a tutorial on the block and the answer is no. I won't be doing a tutorial on how to make uh, a swoon block. A swoon block is this if you didn't know um, what a swoon block was. It's a commercial pattern made by someone else and I don't want to you know breach any copyright laws that that pattern might have by reproducing it and putting it up on my channel so I'm sorry I will not be doing a tutorial on the block but I have to say the instructions that do come with the pattern are very easy to follow it's it is a time-consuming block to piece together I think but really fun at the same time I really enjoy it I really enjoy the different steps that it takes to make the block and yeah I'm really it's really annoying me how the reflection of the window is in my glasses and you can't really see my eyes I don't know it's just really annoying me so I do apologize about that there's a really big fly in here I thought I killed you earlier yes yeah, so that's one thing I wanted to chat about I wrote a list of what I wanted to chat about oh another thing that I've been planning and uh, writing and organizing is my next quilt along. I'm doing another quilt along this year. I wasn't going to because they always kill me. <laughs> they just take a lot of time, a lot of planning. I need to dedicate and put a lot of time towards editing and filming it and editing and, and just getting everything correct oh, before, sorry, it's closed, before putting it out in, into the world and I find it difficult because of my work schedule because I don't know 
when I work from week to week. Uh, well, I mean, I have a, a vague idea of what, what hours I do, but it can always change. So I can never sort of promise time towards things because of that. And it's, it's beginning to actually really bug me, but that's for another day. Uh, what am I doing? One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. So yes, I'm doing another quilt along and this time uh, the I got the idea from a viewer and it is going to be mini blocks. I'm doing nine gorgeous little mini blocks. They will be uh, five inches in measurement so they're, they're itty bitty but I thought well I should be able to manage little blocks due to time and stuff and you know it's something a bit different so I've got all of the patterns all the pat sheets for each block done written up all the measurements are good and I just have to schedule the time to yeah just just start it I'm actually planning on getting it started next week no this this coming yeah no it is this this coming weekend just before the beginning of May I'm going to put out the introduction to the uh, series I'm um, just chatting about you know what it's all about and um, all the measurements and what it is and all that sort of stuff and then uh, I will get filming the first tutorial oh what am I doing here okay very nice I'm actually really quite excited about this cool song. We're doing a couple of techniques that I haven't really touched on a lot. There's no paper piecing, unfortunately. I will do a foundation paper piecing tutorial sometime. Believe me, I have so many ideas written in my ideas YouTube book that, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Uh, in a hurry but yeah there are some some of the blocks that we're doing yeah we're doing something a few things that are a little bit different to what we've done in the past two four six eight and I'm really happy with the type of fabrics I'll be using as well I'm not going to tell you just yet because I want to leave it all to the introduction video but yeah I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to sort of get it started because it's been a lot of planning and a lot of writing and yeah I just want to get it done I just want to get it started and rolling and yeah just see how cute and adorable these little five inch blocks are gonna be but yeah that's gonna be coming out very soon two four six eight ten twelve okay I don't need this one anymore so to go along with my quilt along I'm going to be doing something else on my channel it's kind of it's a little bit like vlogmas but not vlogmas because it's not christmas it's a series i'm going to do called everyday may uh it's actually something that i did on my blog uh a couple of years ago where i posted a post every day in may uh and i thought well now that i'm sort of a little bit more confident with uh vlogging and talking in front of the camera and all that sort of shiz i'd i'd do everyday may i'd vlog it and show you what i was up to <laughs> during my very busy month of May, which I only this morning realized the first two weeks are very, very busy, pretty much because of work, just my normal hours, and plus we have our stock take beginning, and we have three days of stock take, and stock take uh, are three days in the year that you just do not look forward to when you work in retail it's going to be hell but yeah I have that in the next couple of weeks uh, actually it's not next week it's the week after three six uh -huh. two four six a little more but yeah I'm going to attempt to do every day May where I will film every single day during the month of May oh that rhymed <laughs> the poet I don't even know it and and yeah just show you what I'm up to in May. A few things to look forward to is one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Sorry, <laughs> just making sure I'm counting the right amount. We've got Mother's Day coming up uh, in May. I've got a nephew's 11th birthday. Lots of work days, so you'll hear me complaining about that. And then you'll also see the behind the scenes of the beginnings of my quilt along. With that I don't know how persistent I'm going to be with uploading blocks for that because of work. But yes, look forward to the beginning of Everyday May where I vlog every day in May 
from the 1st of May. <laughs> How many times do I have to say May? Oh my gosh. And I'm up to this fabric. How beautiful is this one? Oh, I love this fabric. As soon as I saw it at work, I was like, it's gorgeous. I gotta use it. That would look so nice in a swimming block. This particular fabric, uh, like I mentioned before, it's called, it's by Kat Kalindi. And I think, I'm pretty sure the pattern is called Woodland or Woodlands or Wood. I think it's Woodland or something like that. I just think it is so pretty. So I just very briefly mentioned my blog just now. I finally put up a blog post on my blog for this year. Before that, the last time I actually posted a blog post on my blog, it was in November. So I, I really felt like I needed to just update it and put out my 2018 sewing goals up on there. If you haven't read that blog post, then I will link it in the description below. Oh, that's Charlie. And yeah, I just sort of wrote out a whole bunch of goals, sewing goals that I want to achieve this year. I also put up the finished photos of my simple cross quilt, which I, which I just love. Let me make sure I'm doing the right thing with this one. Okay. And then I also just went through a few of the different other quilts that I would like to either finish this year as well as start. So I mentioned my pixelated rose quilt which is still hanging up in our kitchen uh, and yeah I'm just I'm just really procrastinating and avoiding that one at the moment. I uh, don't know why I think I'm just a little bit overwhelmed by the size of it but it will get done when don't know but it will. What else did I put on that blog post? I can't remember. Um, there's a few Christmas things I want to make. I desperately want to make a Christmas quilt this year. Again, where I'm going to find the time to do that, who knows? But you know, it's a, it's a dream, it's a wish that hopefully will come true. I think that's everything that I wanted to really update you on. I wrote a list and I think that's pretty much everything that I wrote down to chat about. 468 2468. Yeah, that's right. Hi, Charlie. What you doing? You getting into things you're not supposed to be. I can hear you. Mm. Fussy cutting is so hard. That one. Oh, nice. That's gonna look good. It's gonna look good, Charlie. It will. Yes, it will, mate. So I'm just gonna continue cutting out my pieces. And, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, get back to you a little bit later on. I'm just going to turn off DC talk. Excuse me. Thank you. I've just finished doing my house square triangles for my block. I'm actually really loving the choices of fabrics that I did for this one. I just think they go so well. I don't know. Is it just me or... Does it not look that great? Yeah, no, it looks really nice on the table. I think this block is going to look really awesome. I'm going to go now have a cup of tea after trimming up all of those hospital triangles. Um, and then I will get back to it. <laughs> I look really bright at the moment because I'm currently standing under our sunlight. So I'm really bright. But I just wanted to show you some of the roses uh, left over from the flowers that I did. Um, this weekend. These are actually flowers that my dad bought for my mum because he came with me to the markets but some of these beautiful white roses are just so lovely and just some basic daisies. It's a really nice little combo there on our table. And then these are some other ones that are just on our table. We've got some beautiful dahlias here. Beautiful dahlia. Some carnations are in there. We've got some beautiful stock that just smells delicious. Um, I don't know what this is but the theme was boy so I had to get some blue flowers and I thought they were nice um, we've got some Queen Anne's lace in there some carnations and oh this Dahlia is not looking all that great oh she's seen better days um, there's another one in there there yeah, lovely Dahlia and some beautiful textural roses um, but these ones are all just leftover stuff but now I'm gonna make a cup of tea and find something to munch on. Oh, I have some M&Ms.
Oh, no water. <laughs> no water in the kettle. I bought this new mug the other day from TK Maxx. Oh, let's get away from the noisy kettle. But yeah, I bought this new uh, mug from TK Maxx the other day and I absolutely love it. It's the colors are just so pretty and it's got like little gold specks in it. It's by this, oh, it's upside down. It is by, I oh, don't drop it now, by a company called Mini. That one. I just really love the size of this one. It's like huge mug. Um, perfect for tea. Just come outside to play with Charlie. <laughs> He's so excited. Good boy. Ready? Love you, guys. Here he comes. <laughs> You're so excited. What's this? Why are you eating this for? This is not for you to eat. What you doing? Huh? What you doing? You just want snuggles. You just want snuggles. You just want a belly rub. Oh my gosh, oh, 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 Found a spot. Let's try that again. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, you sweet thing. You mm. mm, sweet, darling. There's such a beautiful sunset at the moment. I don't know whether you can really pick it up, but it's really like pinky and lovely. Look at this handsome boy. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Look at how pretty the sky is. That little speck right there, that is the moon. I think it's a half moon. It looks like a half moon. Wonder if we can zoom it. That zoomy zoomy. A zoomy zoomy. There he is. Hey, Mr. Moon. Whoa. Wow. That is a pretty good zoom. Oh, where is it? There it is. Focus. Cool. Hey, Mr. Moon. Oh, shaky shaky. Oh, it's stuck on my hair. What are you doing? Oh, ow. Whoa, I'm like totally illuminated by the screen on my computer. I didn't realize it was that bright. Mm. It's come to the end of the day and I'm going to finish uh, the vlog. I've just been editing it for the last hour and a bit. And I just need to pop in my uh, ta and Hope you have a good day and hope you enjoyed the vlog and all that sort of stuff. Before I go, I just want to celebrate the fact that today I reached 30,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, there's 30,000 people who know my name on YouTube, which is really frightening, but really encouraging and exciting at the same time. So if you are one of the many 30,000 people that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate your support and I hope that you will continue enjoying the stuff that I will be doing on my channel this year. It's a very exciting milestone and you know, <laughs> I never ever thought I'd get 30,000 subscribers, even though it is a very small number compared to some, but uh, it's huge to me, especially when, you know, when I first just got 50 subscribers I was like oh my gosh 50 people <laughs> are watching my channel that's crazy but now it's like a lot more than that uh, but anyway again thank you so much for your support and for watching me and for just being a really awesome audience and group of friends 
saw that happy uh, thought and stuff, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you sometime very, very soon. Bye-bye.